Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome back, goats. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Capricorns. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family as well. Thank you all so much, soul tribe, for your continuous support. It is an honor, as always, to have you here and definitely evolving right along with me, family. Thank you. And welcome back to my returning subscribers as well. Thank you so much for your comments and you all's feedback down below. I appreciate you all. It truly is a pleasure. And welcome, welcome, Capricorns, to the ones that are new here. Thank you as well for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well, Capricorn. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 signs. And also love live stream questions if you have a question that you would love to be answered with tarot, all right? So no further ado, Cappies. We're going to go ahead and dive into your general love reading today. Today's focus is going to be one on your career and finances, which I'm excited about that for you. And then we have, of course, tapping into your love life, all right? And we're going to see who is in your energy here and why and how do they feel about you as well, all right? So no further ado, folks. Let's go ahead and dive into your career and your finances here first, okay? What do we have for the collective placements for Capricorn? What's the collective placements for Capricorn when it comes to their career and their finances here? Let's see what we have for you when it comes to your career and your finances here, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn when it comes to their career and finances? All right. Wow. We have cryptocurrency here. I love it. Okay. I've been thinking about this myself, goats. Okay. Some of y'all could be tapping into cryptocurrency or this is something that you may have been suggested to do. You may have heard some things about it, but haven't got too much deep into it. All right. Some of y'all, this is confirmation for you. If you're hearing about this again through your reading, all right, so definitely check it out and see where you can go with this. It's a great opportunity here to definitely add on a stream of income for yourselves, okay? So cryptocurrency, I love it. Let's see what else is going on when it comes to your career and finances, your goals. What else when it comes to Capricorn's career and finances here? What else do they need to know at this time? Okay, all right, we got couple of cards that jumped out here. Wow, we got negotiate. I love it. Some of y'all are going to be negotiating here when it comes to a particular job offer that you have received or about to receive here. So if you've been job searching, you definitely have an opportunity coming towards you for a job offer that may require for you to negotiate your work ethic okay so definitely i always encourage and recommend to negotiate okay don't never just go or settle with what the first offer is definitely if you have well amount of experience right be sure to negotiate okay even if what they're offering to pay you is great all right and it's above what you expect that still negotiate because once that takes place who knows the next time when you will get a, a bonus or a, um, an increase in your pay. So it's always good to negotiate uh, when you first take on a job, you know, because you don't know when the next time you're going to get a raise, you know, for some jobs. Every job is different. So I do see in the near future you all negotiating here for some of you all when it comes to your career and finances and searching for a new career work opportunities for yourself. I love it. Yeah, look at that. And some of y'all are going to find yourself having to multitask, okay? You may, or again, there is definitely some type of new financial opportunity here, Capricorn, when it comes to your career, because you're having to multitask. You're having to add on some type of stream of income is coming in where it's going to have you by default multitasking when it comes to maybe your family, having to find time for your family and your career, 
um, due to maybe the extended hours that you may be working or the new offer with new hours, maybe having to adjust to your home schedule and the negotiation of this new job opportunity here as well, okay? And then we have deadlines came out here as well. So some of you all, there could be some important deadlines, Capricorn, that is coming up that is going to need your attention. So your spirit team here is stating not to procrastinate, okay? The time is ticking. So make sure that whatever deadlines that you may be aware that's coming up, that you take the necessary action towards these deadlines, Capricorn, so you don't miss them, okay? Very important there as well for some of you all. Wow, I'm loving it. I'm loving your career and your finances here for the month of July. I love it. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have shopping. Yes, some of you all with this new stream of income or increase in your income, you're going to be able to do a little bit more shopping than usual here as well. Wow, that's always good, <laughs> right? So I love it. I love it. Definitely, if you love it, hit that like button, Capricorn. Let's now go into your love life, goats, all right? Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance here for the month of July, all right? Let's see what do we have for you for the month of July for when it comes to love and romance, okay? Let's see what the crowning of your reading here is for love and romance. What do we have here for love and romance for Capricorn? Wow, we have love yourself first, Capricorn. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, giving that energy back to yourself, loving yourself is going to allow others to respect the same and love you back, all right? So continuing to give yourself that self-respect is definitely going to even allow you to be more attractive here to others as well because you're putting that same love, time, and effort into yourself. I feel like that is very important here because it's also bringing in new love for you as well, Capricorn. Let's see what else. Yeah, look at that. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps, Capricorn, that you are guided to take. So the spirit is definitely telling you, go ahead, make the effort because you definitely have someone new that's coming in. Some of y'all may have already met this person here. Others of you all, this is definitely a heads up for you. Okay, yeah, attract a little bit attraction okay i couldn't even get the word out you attract romantic love by enjoying this romantic feeling i'm sorry romantic fully or moment fully here oh my goodness i'm having a difficult time with reading today okay we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so again spirit is saying enjoy this person when they get here if they're not already here because Baby, they're going to be so attractive. They're going to be having you stopping and smelling the roses in here or themselves is going to be doing this here. You're definitely attracting someone into your life. So whatever it is that you're doing, how you're manifesting this person, keep doing what you're doing. And also keep trusting that this situation is calling for you to have faith when it comes to your love life as well. Some of y'all are definitely um, preparing yourself for new love, okay? I definitely see it here and it's coming in for you. So again, keep attracting it the way that you're doing because it's definitely coming in for you, loves, okay? Let's see what else is coming out here. My OCD, y'all, is gonna drive me crazy if they don't stay there, <laughs> okay? And then we have let your friends help you, Capricorn, as you and as for and accept support from others, okay? Ask for help and accept the help at the same time. Because I know how you can be sometimes, Capricorn, okay? You kind of like a loner. You like to do things on your own and manifest opportunities on your own. So when you actually have help coming in, accept the help and the offer. Especially for the ones that may be dating and you're getting back on the dating scene, Capricorn, and you have children. I feel like you're having people, family, friends, loved ones that are coming in and they're excited and willingly to help you. You know, so they're willingly to look out for you, maybe babysit while you go out on dates and things of that sort, a look out of the house or the home for you, things of that sort. So definitely accept the help. Yep, we got honeymoon here at the bottom of the deck. 
that love boat is definitely coming in and making a stop with you okay so some of y'all are definitely meeting someone new going out on dates here or you may meet this person around the next holiday it says enjoy the bliss of holiday times together all right so there's definitely someone that's coming in here if they're not here already it's going to be different for each and every one of you all timeline is going to be a little bit different here right so let's now get out some tarot here capricorn let's get some tarot out to see who is this person here and why who is this person here that is in capricorn's energy for love and romance tell me more about capricorn's love life here when it comes to love and romance please wow capricorn definitely if the reading here so far is resonating for you don't forget to smash that like button all right thank you so much there to be appreciative and share this message here capricorn with who you know the reading today may resonate for and if you would love to book a personal reading capricorn my email details are down below in the description box if you kind of want to see what's next for you and what's the potential outcome here okay let's see what do we got for love for Capricorn. Who is this person that is in Capricorn's energy here? The Seven of Swords. This could be an air sign that's in your energy here. This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, okay? So this is why we also have trust out here because in your past experiences and relationships, you may have had someone particularly or may have had a couple people here that may have came across and has portrayed you or done things here behind your back or lied to you, things of that sort. The Seven of Swords indicates some type of deception here that has took place here. And I feel like with these type of experiences and relationships here, Capricorn, this may have been a concern as far as trusting this next opportunity or relationship here is calling for you to have faith, right? Let's see what else. Some of y'all, this person here could have been a air sign as a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. All right. What else? Let's see what else when it comes to your love life here. Who else is in Capricorn's energy here for love? We got the moon card here. Count Syrian energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Cancer. The moon card talks about hidden information, um, emotions being hidden, feelings being hidden here, or secrets here, Capricorn. Some of y'all, because this person may have lied to you or wasn't honest to you several times here, this is some things that you may was aware of and picked up on this person's energy here. Yeah, we got the Knight of Swords. So some of you all, you do have an ex here, okay? Just an FYI, you have some unexpected news or communication here from someone from your past. Again, this could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. All right, let's see what are the messages here that they're wanting to communicate to you here. Why do we have the Knight of Swords here? We have several other cards that came out. We have here the Empress. Yes, Capricorn, you're showing up as the Empress here. This is also Libra and um, I'm here in Gemini. Some of y'all, this person could be a Gemini Capricorn, but I want to say Libra or a Taurus here for others of you all as well. Yeah, the High Priestess, Pisces energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Pisces or a Cancer here. Now, this informs me that everything that has happened in this person that has kept these secrets from you was not being honest with you. This is something that you have already been aware of here with the high priestess. So you're kind of understanding what route that you're needing to take here with this person here from your past. Okay. Yeah. The King of Swords, you're definitely setting boundaries right here from this person as well as they maneuverate themselves towards you. Okay. You're definitely protecting your space and energy and setting boundaries here. And that's good. And you got someone that wants to invest in you. Some of y'all, this person here could be an earth sign like yourself. They could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, and or a Virgo here, okay? But the Three of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, this informs me that whomever this person from your past here is, is definitely someone that you realize that hurt you on a level now where you're able to understand what had happened here. And so because of that, this is why we have love yourself first. Make that effort. 
trust okay let your friends help you because some of y'all it has been quite some time since you just really um came out and start dating again here and spirit is saying to trust that this situation is calling you for have faith because some of y'all again you may have already met this new person or you will be here pretty soon in the future okay so definitely good luck in that area all right wow let's go ahead and close out and use my famous raw tarot index cards here let's see what are some things that this person wants to say or how they feel about you because we definitely have some communication energy coming in here with that knight of swords from this person let's see what they want to say here okay let's see and some of y'all again this person could be a pisces we got the pisces card coming out here all right we have i am in love with you so there is definitely someone here again <laughs> that is in love with you okay let's see what else or someone is realizing this okay yeah they're very attracted to you as well here we got you so fine goats okay who is this you got definitely a new person that's coming around here towards you who else what else okay we got fuck that i'm fighting for you okay so someone definitely wants to take out the time to fight for this connection or you know or whatever it is that they may have done someone feels like that they have to put in the effort to fight for for this relationship here yeah look at that i am aware of what i did okay wow so someone is definitely coming towards you again because we got the moon card here and the uh, seven of swords so there's definitely some things that this person done here that they are aware of that hurt you capricorn is why i feel like this person is coming in here towards you in this energy here someone wants to reconcile with you and apologize looking like here for their behavior pattern here yeah look at that i will make it all up for you wow capricorn oh my goodness i'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here again definitely if this reading has given you clarity even confirmation for some of you all again don't forget to subscribe we would love to have you here capricorn a part of our family and definitely come and check us out on patreon for more content as well all right thank you all so much like subscribe and we definitely shall chit chat soon okay i wish you and this person here and your career the best my loves Mwah. Bye bye.